Hello. Looks like temperatures after tonight will actually gradually rise. And now take a look at your seven day forecast sponsored by your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers. It will be 14 degrees for tomorrow with a mainly sunny sky to start off the new year. And then on Wednesday, we'll have a temperature of 20 degrees with a partly sunny sky. So temperatures gradually rising and becoming more normal by the weekend. Across Idaho Falls, expect a high temperature of 16 today, 11 degrees for tomorrow. And then those low temperatures gradually again starting to rise but tonight will be very cool 10 below zero across the Teton area Jack Stafton and Driggs expect the mainly cloudy sky for today with a high temperature of 16 degrees 11 degrees for your high temperature tomorrow with a mainly sunny sky partly sunny sky on Wednesday across the central mountains Salmon Chalice and Mackey expect a partly sunny sky for most of the week with temperatures gradually rising into the mid 30s by Friday Rachel back to you all right, thank you so much, Michael. All right, in Yellowstone, on your seven-day forecast brought to you by your Southeast Idaho, Chevy dealers expect a high temperature of 14 degrees to start off the new year for tomorrow across Pocatello, and temperatures gradually rise into the 20s and then the 30s by Friday. Across Idaho Falls, your seven-day forecast, a high temperature of 11 degrees for tomorrow with a mainly sunny sky, partly sunny sky on Wednesday with a high temperature of 16 degrees. And again, looks like those temperatures gradually rise into the low 30s by Saturday. Looks like we actually get a break from the snow on Sunday. We'll have a chance for some snow out there with a high temperature of 31 degrees. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs expect a high temperature of 16 degrees for today with a mainly cloudy sky, mainly sunny for tomorrow with a high temperature of 11 degrees. Now look at those overnight lows. Wow, the overnight low is very cool out there for tonight. 16 below zero, six below zero tomorrow night, and then those overnight lows gradually rising to above zero by about Wednesday. Central Mountains, Salmon Chalice and Mackey expect a high temperature of 17 for today, 12 below zero for tonight, but a sigh of relief, it'll be one degree tomorrow night. Rachel, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Michael. I have nine in Rexburg. St. Anthony will see a high temperature of nine degrees. Seven day forecast, Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers, seven day forecast, looking cold tomorrow night as well. We're looking at high temperatures, warming in the mid 20s, and then we got mid to upper 30s. We warm up this weekend. 37 in Idaho Falls. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers, seven day forecast for Idaho Falls. We got a cold one tomorrow for the first day of 2019. Tomorrow night, again below zero. We'll see some improvement there. Uh, high temperatures will rise above freezing. The way it stands now, we could see some snow the latter half of the weekend. But in the meantime, we're just going to have to endure this cold, bitterly cold weather that we got on deck for at least the next few days. We will warm up. We'll get above freezing. It's going to take a long time for that to happen. I think for Friday, for the central mountains we'll see it and then there's a chance of snow sunday and monday brainstormers today Magic valley here's a look at your southeast idaho chevy dealers seven day forecast we'll start off with pocatello mm, okay oh, cold for 2019 don't worry we got a warm-up of the forecast Probably won't notice them that much until the weekend. We will see temperatures above freezing. Idaho Falls seven day forecast we got minus nine tomorrow night a little better as we week wears on <laughs> and then we're finally above re freezing Sunday and Monday with a chance of snow those days. Teton area seven day forecast a little bit of a warm up here in a few days. We'll get above freezing briefly for a few minutes at least on Saturday and we're looking at maybe some snow Sunday and maybe some snow on Monday for the central mountains for the next seven days awfully cold. The highs will improve of course first. Uh, we're pushing mid 30s by Friday. Well, that's definitely what is that? 21 degrees warmer by Friday than it will be tomorrow. So just hang in there, get through the next several days, and then we got some tropical weather headed this way.